I found the good rewards, and it's not just from this sweet spider tournament that I managed to win somehow. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here. I just changed everything behind the scenes, so don't mind me being a little irritated and <laughs> confused about where things are in this video because I just updated all of my software. But that's another story for another day. I won my spider tournament, which, guys, a full set of six star relentless gear, the charms, and an ancient shard. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. And this five star chicken clutch, the rare for the fusion, super important. And I don't know why Polarium continues to give us embarrassing amounts of silver. This literally does nothing. It's nothing. It's just like not a reward. So anyway, I'm going to gripe about that probably a little bit more in this video because Polarium knows what to do. They know how to do it and I'm going to prove it because I found the good rewards. So let's collect this and look at the gear from that. Because, man, I, I'm excited. Just something usable. Percentage stats on the chest and gloves. Please. And then speed on the boots. Please. One time. Flat attack. Flat HP. Flat HP. Why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me so much? <sighs> well, I mean... <laughs> Not a single usable piece. That is not right. That's not right. At worst, I can throw this on a faction war champion. Um, I mean, I probably wouldn't do that. I'll probably save these for chaos or if I can manage to get some. And then here. Oh, that's really good. Okay, that's really good. And that's really good. I will take that. I will take that. Yes, sirree, please. Now the question is, should I be trying to put a set together, or should I be trying to just split that up and put these two on damage dealers, and then this one probably on Deacon? I mean, Deacon's gear is actually not that bad. I've been like really working on his build. 200 speed, 252 accuracy is actually really good. And then I have, uh, I hit flat defense on this one twice. But on this one, I hit defense percent twice in speed. Like, these two pieces are going to take me, those are going to last me a while, basically. But I have no silver. That's got to be the number one problem for early game players. And Polarium does not help us, except in one way, okay? Now, before I get to that, I want to catch you up on a couple things, okay? I'm making real good progress on my missions. I'm almost to this third leg complete. And I I think that I, I just need a couple more things and then I'm there. Like uh, level four of Ascension. And then if we just scroll down here, I'm already past silver three and then I'm at Relic Keeper. So... I'm just like a couple missions away from getting those two Lego books, and then those are going to go into Pythion, because he's been so, so good. And then we're on the last leg on our way to Arbiter, so I'm hoping by the end of March to hit Arbiter. Yeah, and, and then, you know, then it's smooth sailing from there, because we'll be hitting level 20 dungeons, and we can start saving silver and all of that stuff. But until you get Arbiter, or you're hitting, like, level 20 on Spider, it's just so hard. And I think Polarium could easily change this. Like, that 100,000 silver that we saw in that tournament, that needs to be a million. That's the only way to make it an actual reward. Like, uh, over here on these login rewards. 30,000 silver? What are you even doing? 12,000 silver? That's not even enough to upgrade a piece of gear one time. That's not even enough to switch a piece of gear. Like, stop this. It's nonsense. I'm just super, super upset about it because I can't do anything on the free-to-play because I don't have silver. 
Actually, 154,000 silver is the most I've had in a couple days because as soon as I get it, I spend it. But the sparring pit is completely open in case you missed that memo. And if you don't understand the reasons why here, you should check out my dedicated video to that. I'll try to link that at the end of this. But I'm just, I'm saying, this is the number one way to get six star champions in raid. Maybe I need to make another video on it because seriously, not enough people are doing this. I still log into people's accounts and I don't see champions at the same level, four star champions. I still see random champions here, there, and everywhere. And I'll be honest, this is going so quickly for me, I'm not going to have enough champions ready to six star because it's going too fast and that's an awesome problem to have so my plan is uh coming up we have a champion training wait is it a tournament or an event it it's a champion tra training event so i plan on maxing that out i think that starts this tuesday i believe champion training event and let's see how i'm actually doing like i do have some four stars okay one, two, three, she's one, four, five, six. I have six four stars, and then I'm just working on other stuff. But I have to get my fusion rares ready because that ends this week. And I fully plan on fusing one copy of this epic, Maruka. And you are going to be sad if you don't fuse her, okay? Unless you have another revive on death champion. But I'm telling you right now, I'm going to put out some amazing content on this champion and you don't want to be left behind and be sad that you didn't get her, okay? So get four of the rares, fuse this, unless you have another Revive on Death champion. But you probably don't because there's not that many of them. Like, there's Light Sworn, Mother Sabelle, there's like six total. The other ones like Shamrock and Cardio, which are legendaries. Crimson Helm, which is hard to use. Sky Touch Shaman's Avoid legendary. And that's it. There's six. Six total, and only three of them are epics. So I would say that she is... Obviously, she's not the best, guys. But, like, let's look at her kit, okay? She does the revive on death. It's on a three-turn cooldown. She also has this full cleanse and heal, which works really well. Like, I bet you we can build a sweet Sand Devil team with her. And then she has a decreased speed on the A1, which we may or may not use. And then her passive, she increases her defense. And then it resets each round. I'm going to use her in Faction Wars. She's going to be very good. I guarantee you we can use her in Sand Devil. Don't miss your opportunity to get her. I'm telling you, you will regret it, okay? All right, what else What else do I need to share? I think that's everything, and now we can jump into the rewards. Thank you for your patience. I knew I would forget if I if I didn't do all of those things first, right? Um, I'm very excited to... Level 50, you get a rare book? That's butts. You don't need a rare book at level 50. Stop that. Okay, but anyway, I am almost level 50. I'm excited to hit 50. And I found the good rewards, okay? So this tells me Plarium knows how to do it. I started fighting through Nightmare Campaign, and I made it all the way up until the, <laughs> the Bad L stage, which I literally just get destroyed on. Okay, but that's like halfway. That's, that's more than halfway, right? This is the eighth stage. All we have is 9, 10, 11, 12. So, and then I didn't get the full stars on the boss because I, I don't have enough damage or survivability or something. But when you're looking at this, look at this silver right here. 1.5 million silver as a reward. Polarium knows how to do it. <laughs> Go back and hire this guy who made the rewards for Nightmare Campaign and if you are not doing Nightmare Campaign or you haven't done it yet, you need to do it. It's pretty expensive, right? Being 16 energy, but the rewards are great. Like, look at this. 150 gems and a full six-star speed set. A full set. 
And then the next reward is 2.25, wait, 2.25 million silver. Then we get 175 gems and three legendary books. Like, this is the rewards we should be getting in other areas of the game. This is the rewards right here. Plarium, you know how to do it. You just need to apply this in other areas of the game. And for most of you, especially people starting new free-to-play accounts, this is where you should be trying to make progress because all of the rewards, even from the get-go, like I wonder, no, that's just the clear, and I can't scroll back to show you. Hold on, let me do a little research. Okay, I'm not sure this information exists anywhere. So if somebody is willing to fight through their nightmare campaign, or you have this information, please share it with me. I can hit you up with some gems to help out. But I would love a list of all the rewards for Nightmare Campaign. And then we can publish that as an article on my website so that people can find it later on. I know for sure that you get at least a million silver four times. You get gems four times. You get... Uh, an ancient shard, the speed set, you get a five-star chicken, you get a Lego book, and maybe that's all of them? I don't think. I think we're missing some, and I would like exact numbers, okay? There's three five-star chickens? Is one reward is three five-star chickens? Oh my goodness, I need that immediately, please. Immediately. So, if somebody is willing to track that, please let me know. Message me in Discord, um, and I will hook you up for your time and effort. It would be great if it like the information exists. Just share it with me. I can't find it, but otherwise, just fight through Nightmare Campaign. Mark down all of the rewards, and that would be super cool. But... We know that there is all of this awesome stuff here, and that's the good rewards that everyone can get. Now, probably some of you watching this, you're like, oh, crap, I already did that like a year ago or something. But there's so many people who have not, okay? So many people who have not done this a year ago, and you need to do this, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you can do right? I'm almost level 50. My gear is terrible. I do have a decent roster, right? Like, I've been fighting through this with Rhonda and Pytheon, so, like, you need to have, you know, a support champ and a damage dealer is typically the pair. Uh, when I did this originally, I think I did Madam Saris and uh, Miscreated Monster were the two. You know, I did a buff stripper, and I actually had crit rate gloves on her, so she did a little damage. And then miscreated monster protected them and did the majority of the damage. So there's a you know there's an infinite number of combinations of champions that will work. But even if you can just do some stars and get the first reward, it is definitely worth your time. Okay. So I'm going to go and I am going to update RSL Helper so that I can run some auto battles for Fire Knight. Uh, and then I'm going to try to get Deke into level 60, which I'm very close on. Maybe we'll hit Spider as well because today is the Dungeon Divers event. And then we'll, we'll continue working on all of this stuff. So hopefully soon I can fuse Relic Keeper, which I'm actually pretty close on. If we come and take a look, Relic Keeper... Uh, I actually have to fuse just a car again, <laughs> which I'm sad about, but I got all the champions, so all I have to do is ascend them, and then I have to level these guys up to four, I already have, ooh, I have a copy of her at four, huh. I'll probably just use her as a chicken and level up the other one, but either way, I'm hoping to do all of that uh, this week as well. I'm hoping to do that fusion and this fusion and maybe even use some gems to get my next six star, right? Oh, not Deacon, Rio. I need to get Rio to six stars or to, to level 60, okay? 
I need to farm some more potions. <laughs> so there's a lot to do on the free-to-play account, but man, I've made so much progress. I hope you're doing well also. Please share this video with someone who you know it will help because everybody needs to do Nightmare Campaign, and there's a ton of great information in this video for you. Thank you for watching. I'm MTG Jedi. Where's my ending? There we go. See you in the next one.